The range of power units of the pre-styling Renault Laguna includes gasoline, force, with a volume of 1.6 liters, 107 horsepower, 1.8 liters, 116 and 120 horsepower, 2 liters, 136, 140 and 163 horsepower, turbocharged, as well as a 3 liter V6, 207 horsepower. There were also turbo diesels 1.9 liters, 107 and 120 horsepower, and 2.2 liters, 133 horsepower. True, we officially sold only gasoline versions. After restyling, the line of engines looked like this, 1.6 liters, 112 horsepower, 2 liters, 136 horsepower, turbocharged 2 liters, 170 and 204 horsepower, and V6 3 liters, 210 horsepower. S, turbo diesels, 1.9 liters, 110 and 130 horsepower, 2 liters, 150 horsepower, and 2.2 liters, 139 and 150 horsepower. A 3 liter V6 is not often found under the hood of a used Laguna. However, the engine is reputed to be quite reliable and, moreover, it is combined only with the Eisen 5 band automatic, which is noticeably more durable than its 4 speed counterpart. And the prices for the Laguna V6 are almost the same as the 4 cylinder modifications. The most popular power units are considered to be 1.8 liter and 2 liter gasoline, 136 horsepower. They are quite high torque and at the same time economical. True, they have their own Achilles heel, a phase regulator that fails by 80 to 100,000 kilometers. If the engine began to work with a characteristic, diesel like rattling sound, get ready to part with 15,000 rubles. For purchasing a new part, true, you can save money by buying a node at a disassembly or in an online store. A sound similar to the noise of a broken phase regulator can also be emitted by a worn-out air conditioning compressor pulley. Here, the mechanism is already changing in assembly. As a rule, Lagoon drivers purchase a Valio compressor, which is more reliable and much cheaper than a regular one. After 60 to 70,000 kilometers, the crankshaft rear oil seal begins to sweat. The part itself costs a penny, but the replacement is by no means cheap since at the same time it is recommended to update the clutch release bearing. At risk, the rear engine mount, from 2,000 rubles, as well as the pump, 2,980 rubles, the bearing of which wedges after 80,000 kilometers various electronic sensors often fail, for example, the position of the crankshaft, about 6,000 rubles, ignition coils, relay controllers and control units. And if you feel that the engine has lost power, and at the same time fuel consumption has sharply increased, probability of the death of the catalytic converter is high. Replacement is expensive, 40,000 rubles. On the Laguna, climate control is periodically buggy. Usually, some of its symbols go out or lost on the screen. Officials treat the disease by global replacements, although it is enough to solder the corresponding boards and the wiring bus. Instead of a traditional ignition key, Laguna uses this map. Comfortable and modern. However, after 100 to 120,000 kilometers, this chip key fails. Replacement, 9,000 rubles, and together with the card reader, from 22,000 rubles. Transmission. Mechanisms and components that transmit torque from the motor to the drive wheels cannot boast of durability. Even the JR5 manual 5-speed transmission often needs to be repaired or replaced. Fortunately, there are plenty of these nodes on the disassembly. However, there are cars that drive with their native manual gearbox for almost 300,000 kilometers. Who cares? The four-speed automatic AL4 is also not known from the best side. Well, if it is enough for 150,000 kilometers. But not all Lagunas reach this mark. But the Eisen 5 band automatic transmission, installed only on the V6, is reputed to be much more durable. Together with the box, sometimes you have to change the clutch assembly. And at the same time, do not forget to change the rear crankshaft oil seal, if it is not leaking yet, be sure that this will happen soon. Only for this, again, you will have to disassemble half of the car and pay twice for the same work. And for the officials, this operation costs about 60,000 rubles. The service life of a proactive 4-band automatic transmission is 150,000 kilometers, after which it usually requires a bulkhead from 45,000 rubles. And until that time, the control electronics and the hydraulic valve block may fail. Therefore, the diagnosis of automatic transmission before purchase is required. Chassis and Body 
Despite the simplicity of the design, front McPherson struts and a torsion rear beam, the suspension is not durable. Racks, 1400 rubles each, and bushings, 650 rubles each, of the front stabilizer used to be changed at almost every MOT, or after 20,000 kilometers recently, they have become more tenacious. Ball bearings would stand twice as long, from 1560 rubles. In the front suspension, with McPherson struts, every 20,000 kilometers you have to update the bushings and stabilizer struts. On average, ball bearings and wheel bearings live one and a half to two times longer. At the same time with these parts of the chassis, the tie rod ends will be asked to rest. And shock absorbers rarely withstand more than 60 to 70,000 kilometers. In the rear suspension, a semi-independent H-shaped beam, after 100 to 130,000 kilometers, all silent blocks will need to be replaced. Repair will pull about 10,000 rubles. This period is not critical for shock absorbers, 3,800 rubles each. In steering, tips, 1,800 rubles each, require constant attention, which live a maximum of 60,000 kilometers, approximately the same amount was released for shock absorbers, 4,000 rubles each, which, halfway through their life, begin to emit extraneous sounds, while remaining in good condition. There seems to be nothing to break in the rear suspension. However, after 100,000 kilometers, all silent blocks will have to be changed. The station wagon has a stylish and dynamic appearance, which is supported by a sloping roof line and small corners of the rear pillars. True, the maximum trunk volume in this case is not so impressive 1,500 liters. The body is well protected from corrosion, and the paintwork is durable. The front fenders are plastic and quite sturdy, as are the bumpers. The hood is all aluminum, so there is no place for rust to roam. True, the price of original body parts is unreasonably high. And not only that, for example, a windshield wiper mechanism costs about 28,000 rubles, and the trapezoid can jam already by 80,000 kilometers. Therefore, used parts on Laguna are relevant. The mechanism, 15,000 rubles, of power windows is also short-lived. Repair for 3,000 rubles. Helps for a while. The highlight of the Laguna interior is the Renault card system, which uses a card instead of a regular ignition key and a plug that closes the head unit from prying eyes. The dynamic version included leather-trimmed front seats and a sports steering wheel. European versions were equipped with a large LCD screen of the multimedia system. More electrical problems. Door opening sensors fly out, they change along with the locks, 5,500 rubles plus work. Light bulbs burn out in a circle, brake lights, combined in a common block with turn signals, close. After 120,000 kilometers, the chip key dies. In terms of interior dimensions, Renault Laguna is one of the leaders in the D size class. True, on the second row, three passengers on a long trip will not be very comfortable. Modifications. At the end of 2000, a five-door hatchback appeared in the range of Renault Laguna modifications at the end of 2000. The car has a stylish appearance and even today does not seem outdated at all. The Laguna station wagon, which is traditionally referred to as the Grand Tour, debuted a year later than the hatchback. In technical terms, both versions are identical, but the station wagon rear suspension has a reinforced and somewhat modified design. 